Hi guys, so I've had a ton of requests for an update on the Panda Compact Mini Washer. I did a video when I got it, I did a review, kind of showed how to use it. So I'm going to just answer some of the most common questions that I get about the Panda Washer and then just share a couple tips and tricks that I have discovered along the way with you guys and kind of go over a few things that I may have been doing a little bit wrong when I first got it. Uh, not maybe wrong, but just things that I improved the longer that I had the machine. So let's head into the bathroom and I will kind of show you what's going on with it. Okay, so right now it is running. You can hear it running. So I'm just going to let it run for a second so you guys can hear how loud it is all by itself. And what I would say about the loudness of it is that it isn't very loud at all. But what it is, is it vibrates. There's like a deep vibration, kind of what I equate it to is like your cell phone when the ringer's off and it's on vibrate and you can hear it like all the way across the room or sometimes even across your house just because of that vibration. That's how this is. And so I am certain that my neighbors can hear it and and or feel it or just like they they can sense that vibration and so I would just keep that in mind if you're in a place that you're not supposed to have an apartment washer because I really think that people would be able to hear or feel that vibration one of the other most common questions was is it heavy or can you move it yourself how big is it and it is let's see um, I know I gave the exact measurements in the first video. I'll give the measurements again, but I am 5'8". Here is where it comes up to, is about here. And here is my hip. It isn't quite as wide across as my counter, and I can move it easily by myself, no problem. I've even moved it a couple times when it was full of water, and it's significantly heavier when it's full of water, and I could still move it. So it's definitely very lightweight. I think most people, like 90% of people can move it with no issue unless you have like weightlifting restrictions or a really bad back or bad knees or something. But other than that, you should be able to lift it no problem. Okay, and I do do all of our household laundry and all of our cloth diaper laundry in this Panda washer. And so it is fully capable of doing laundry for a complete family it is a lot more time consuming just because you do have to transfer everything to the spin side and then back over to the rinse side and you know there is a process to it if you'd like to watch the wash process you can watch my first video on the panda washer I'm not going to go through that whole thing with this video just because it is very time consuming but essentially what you do is you wash your clothes in this side then you put them in the spin side and spin them out and then you fill this side back up with water and you transfer your clothes back into the rinse side and then you'll run a rinse on your clothes and then you have to spin them again now usually your load is so big that you need to do several spins because this side is much much smaller than the wash side is and so you'll have a full full load over here and you'll have to do like two or three spins. So I like to get little dollar store laundry baskets. They're just tiny little baskets and I leave one right here by the side of the spin side. And I can just throw everything that's done spinning into the laundry basket. And then I can transfer everything to the rinse side when it's done. If that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. But anyways, um, when I did first make the video, I was not filling this very full, the spin side. I was afraid of breaking it or them not spinning adequately. But you can actually fill it like all the way to the top and they will spin. They'll spin well and they'll spin almost completely dry. And I was spinning them for a really long time. The spin timer goes up to five minutes and I was spinning them for like four minutes or something. And now in the cycles in between, I only spin them for like a minute or two. Now when I'm fully done and I'm about to take them to the dryer after this or go and hang them, then for the final spin, I will do like three or four minutes just to make sure they're like as 
bun dry as they could possibly be but that's the only time that I waste time spinning them that long basically another thing is that it does give you an option for the water inlet whether it is on the wash side or on the spin side so that means where the water that's coming in from your faucet whether it's going into the wash side or the spin side initially when I got it I was using I would switch this over and I would have water go into the spin side uh, just at the beginning of spinning the laundry to really help rinse whatever clothing or diapers or whatever it was and so I was doing that but it seemed to be causing issues with whether um, the spinning would actually work like it, there was some times where it, it wouldn't work it wouldn't spin at all I couldn't get it to spin until I ran the drain function and completely drained the whole machine and then it would spin and so I just stopped using that feature it doesn't seem to be necessary anyways just because they wash so thoroughly in this machine and they spin so thoroughly that it, it just doesn't seem to be necessary to add that extra step I do have to say that if given the option I would absolutely 100% buy another one of these it is phenomenal I love it it works excellent it works better than any standard washer that I have ever used but like I said it is a little bit more time-consuming but if you're spending upwards of 20 30 dollars a week on laundry for a bigger family or if you're cloth diapering then this can really help financially one other thing that I would like to show you so I will just kind of show you right now sorry if this gets shaky it's impossible to set up a tripod in this bathroom and film this it's just too small so these diapers are actually done these were on the final rinse cycle so they are ready to be fully spun out and then either hung up or dried in the dryer and so now I'm going to show you Georgia excuse me honey I'm going to show you and actually my babies love to help I don't let them help with cloth diaper laundry but with regular laundry they love to help okay I had to get Georgia out of here she was wanting to help with the diaper laundry too much oh one other thing I wanted to mention is that get used to your laundry tangling up a lot so much like here you can kind of see this isn't even a bad tangle uh, but it will tangle up just tremendously I mean even just you know shirts and uh, you know anything and you can buy laundry bags to put some of your stuff in but then that's yet another step and so honestly I just untangle the stuff if it ends up tangled up but just be prepared for that and then I put this stuff in I mean I don't stuff it to where like I'm trying to to shove it down as hard as I can because I'm afraid of ruining this basket here but I mean you can fill it up it's full here see it's full to the top it's just comfortably full though I don't have to like push it down and then I put that thing in close it up and start it and so I'm gonna do it for like four minutes and it drains into the toilet and that is a pantyhose filter on the end secured with rubber bands it works as a lint trap so that you don't end up with blockages in your plumbing because if you don't have one of those lint will accumulate in your drains and you don't want that so if you do buy one of these I recommend getting a couple pairs of pantyhose they're like 50 cents at Walmart and then just cut the end off and secure it on the end of the drain hose with some rubber bands super easy the other thing that I discovered is that while it's spinning you can actually also drain so a lot of times to save time I will be draining this side while filling the side while spinning it and by the time this is done spinning I can get the other ones in here and it's just a lot more streamlined doing it that way one other quick thing is that it drains from this back corner at least mine does so if you're trying to move stuff to get it to completely drain I just pile everything over to this corner because I've discovered that it drains best if nothing is covering this area right here so now I'm going to share one of my biggest tips one of the things that drove me the most nuts of anything about this machine when I first got it and something that I had to learn just how to not do and that is when you're reaching in so you take this out 
you're reaching in to get your diapers or your laundry out, whatever it is, okay, you have to reach into the middle and grab the diapers or the laundry out from like the very center. And just by human nature, you reach in and you want to grab as much as possible. But I am telling you that if you do that, see, I grab from the middle now. I grab, reach down in there and carefully grab them out. Because you see all of these holes here. They don't look big. They don't look bad. But when you're reaching in and your fingernails catch on any of those, they literally break your fingernails like right into pieces. Like the, I had so many nails broken in half. I had big jagged chunks broke out of my nails. Just, I broke so many nails in those. And I'm not crazy about my nails. I'm not one of those women that's like, oh, I broke a nail. No, this is like, seriously, like men need to worry about this too. You have to be careful when you're getting your stuff out because not only does it hurt, but I mean, some of these broken nails went down to the nail bed. And so, yeah, you just have to be very careful about getting the laundry out of this side. So see there, I got it all out, put it into my little basket, then I put the rest in. And I have it down to pretty, pretty much a science to where it's evenly divided. See there, we got our second load. And then we start that up. And first you close that one, then this one. All right, well, my babies were screaming, and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't, so I'm not sure where I'm at. So I turned the water on on lukewarm. It says not to use hot, hot water in the machine, but I, I do use pretty hot water with no problems. This is what it looks like filling up. I did show adding OxyClean, OxyClean and then laundry detergent to the wash cycle. You don't need as much as you need in a full-size washer just because this is so much smaller. You don't need, I mean, like this much is adequate. It does say to only use liquid laundry detergent in this machine. However, with cloth diapers, you are only supposed to use powder laundry detergent. So I use both powder and liquid in this machine with no problems. Uh, this is Foca powder laundry detergent. I actually am not a huge fan of it, but I do like the Foca liquid laundry detergent, but like this is plenty for a full load and it suds up a lot. It's really inexpensive laundry detergent. So I did add both of those and you can have this filling up while this side is spinning, which is really, really nice. You can have this side draining while this side is spinning. They're completely independent of each other. So that's really nice. And you only want to fill it up to the top of this line here where like this is actually supposed to be a lint trap, but it doesn't work. Absolute fullest that you should fill it is obviously where this overflow drain is. You don't want it to go above this obviously because everything will just spill down in that drain. So anyways, uh, it is totally full. I have some laundry here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in and it fits more than you'd think. I actually washed a a single queen size blanket in here the other day and it washed just fine. I could not fit it in the spin side though because it was too big, but it washed in here just fine. So this load is actually a little bit smaller than I normally do. I would actually normally add just a little bit more, but this is just fine. And then we'll just do the standard wash. I usually wash everything for 15 minutes. Unless it's really heavily soiled, then I'll do strong. But normally I just do normal. And then I spin it all, rinse it again, and take it out to the dryer to dry. So, and I've kind of gone over that. This video's kind of been all over the place, but I just kind of have covered things as I've thought of them. So I think I've covered everything that I wanted to update you guys about with the Panda Washer. I might have missed some things and if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. I will do my best to answer every question that people leave about this washer just because I do feel like it is such an excellent tool, especially for families that live in apartments that cloth diaper. 
because point operated laundry is expensive and not every family can afford that extra laundry expense. So anyways, I hope that this video was helpful, especially for those of you that are looking into the Panda washer or need one of these washers, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. We always do lots of cloth diaper videos, information, education, reviews, and more. And until next time, good night, goodbye, and stay blessed.